Hi friends, this video is meant for mules of beginners who are currently undergoing fundamental self-paced course on mules of training portal and they are facing that annoying problem wherein you don't get tick against few of the walkthroughs or videos. Now why those ticks are important? Because unless you get the tick against all the videos and walkthroughs, your training is not considered as complete and you don't get enrolled for MuleSoft certification exam. So in this video, we are going to discuss about some few uh, about some key points which you need to note and which can help you to get rid of this problem. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please do and also check my previous videos. So without wasting any further time, let's check it out. So the first thing is that all the videos must be fully viewed which means you should not skip any part of that video you should watch it from uh, beginning till the end next thing is that when you are attending any walkthrough there is a time prescribed on top of that walkthrough so you need to ensure that you stay on that particular walkthrough for that amount of time and you should not be closing the window in between it might happen that yourself might have uh, prescribe 45 minutes but you could manage to complete that walkthrough in 15 or 20 minutes but even in that case you can keep the window open and one more uh, tip or trick I would like to share with you is in case if you have multiple walkthroughs pending what you can do is that you can open multiple tabs in your browser you can go through all the pages and you can keep it open for maybe an hour or so and after that you can check you will get tick mark against all the pending walkthroughs and walkthroughs is a very common kind of a challenge which everyone faces even i faced it when i uh, appeared for this fundamentals course and the only thing i did was that i just open one browser and i open multiple tabs with different walkthroughs and that way i uh, got the tick mark against all the walkthroughs quizzes are important you must pass all the quizzes in order to get the completion mark and finally surveys needs to be completed now one question that might come to your mind is that what if i still don't get the completion mark even after following all these guidelines so that also i'll tell you but before that i'll take you to mules of training portal and i'll show you how it looks like when you have completed all the uh, modules and the chapters so we are on mules of training portal and as i have, I have already completed this uh, training long back so you can see that there is a tick mark against all the modules which includes the videos uh, the surveys as well as walkthroughs so as i uh, mentioned previously each walkthrough has time associated with this for example in this particular walkthrough the time specified is 20 to 60 minutes so what you can do is that you can keep this window open for 60 minutes just considering the the possibility that uh, it checks for max amount of time and you can check it after an hour or so and as I mentioned you can open multiple tabs also so after that you will get this tick mark and you should be able to see tick mark against uh, all the chapters DIY are optional so you can skip it but it's always better to do them to increase your own uh, knowledge and confidence so the next thing is that what if you still don't get the completion mark so in that case what you can do is that you can go through this particular url i'll also paste this url into description and you can uh, submit a request over here you can uh, select this self-paced training issue you can put your email address which you have used to create the training account and you can ask that question for example in, in case of self-paced training issue you already have the, uh, the option to select completing the course and you can put the course name and you can provide the information and you can just submit it and after that the MuleSoft uh, support will contact you and they will guide you on what to be what needs to be done and finally if you have completed the fundamental course and if you wanted to uh, practice your knowledge before appearing to the certification exam then there is one uh, very good practice test which is available on udemy which i would like to recommend to you uh, i'll also put the link in the description section you can check the reviews it's already best seller at, at the time of recording of this video and also i'll give you coupon codes in the description which can help you to get good discount on this course and after each test you will get 
this kind of a report card which will give you the explanation for a particular answer it will give you the link for the documentation the reference and it will also tell you the different knowledge areas and how you have fared into those knowledge areas so you can identify which is your uh, weak part and you can concentrate on it so that way you, that will help you to boost your confidence and it will also give you the feel of the actual questions which are asked in the practice exam so that's it in this video and i'll see you in the next one so happy learning and do hit the like button and subscribe in case you haven't thank you and happy learning